Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle. I'm at the Great Allentown Comic Con with Mike McFarland, talented voice actor, and we're gonna talk about Dragon Ball. Sure. How are you enjoying the con so far? I'm enjoying it. Uh, I haven't been to this part of the country in quite some time, so it's nice to get back to it. And it's also nice for me as a Texas guy to see some beautiful snow and some winter. We will just get slush. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful snow. You're definitely from Texas. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're, we don't get tired of it so fast. So, yeah. Do you do a lot of conventions? It varies from year to year. I think this year was a little on the lighter side. I probably did like eight to ten. I typically do like a dozen to 18. Very nice. And when you look around, you see some people, they're not dressed in what I would call normal everyday clothing. They're, they're cosplayers. Yeah. What do you think of the people who come to these cons and cosplay? I like it. I think it's a lot of fun. I think if you're going to go, come to something like this and uh, dive straight into all of the pop culture and nerdiness that surrounds you, you might as well be dressed for it. If you could get into a costume at one of these cons, who do you think you'd dress as? I don't know. Um, I've always wanted uh, the classic 70s Battlestar Galactica like warrior outfit with the little golden clasps. I think that's a cool look. So maybe that just so I can have it. It is a cool look. Yeah. I was doing a lot of different voice work. How much do you do like in a home studio as opposed to going to the actual studio? Um, I do everything at some sort of actual studio. I do have gear at the house in order to take care of things, but generally that's only for like quick auditions or something like that. The actual recording of final product is always done in some sort of professional nice studio. That sounds nice. Yeah. For people who want to get into voice acting, I'm sure you get a lot of people coming up to you and say, how can I get into voice acting? What is the key thing that uh, you would recommend that no one ever thinks of? I don't know about that, it, that no one ever thinks of, uh, and there's going to be different answers for every voice actor that you ask, but my, my path and the path that I recommend is uh, through acting and acting workshops and acting classes, and studying traditional acting uh, on stage, in front of a camera, um, doing uh, readings and that sorts of things, uh, take uh, uh, voice and diction, uh, tink improvisation, all of those things will help you to be a better voice actor. Just the ability to manipulate and have all sorts of voices isn't quite enough if you can't emote and um, you know be able to do, do some storytelling with that device. Would you say it's more difficult than on screen to, uh, to do everything just with a voice? It's a different kind of challenge. Uh, on screen has its own challenges as well, like you know, I have to hit the mark, I have to make sure that my face is this way so the light hits it just right. I can't go this far versus this far because then I'm out of frame. There's all sorts of challenges with that as well. Uh, the voice acting aspect of it is, can I properly convey emotion and, um, and feeling and, and storytelling through just my voice with the aid of the animation versus being able to, you know, make a, make a different look with my face or do something physical. So anything that you're working on now that you can share with us? Um, currently, I just wrapped up the first half of season three of Attack on Titan. I'm the voice director of that series. Uh, right now, I'm currently working on a series called Double Decker, Doug and Kirill. Uh, it is a spin-off same universe series as Tiger and Bunny, which came out maybe like 2010, 2011, somewhere in there. And I'm also working on a continuation of Tokyo Ghoul called Tokyo Ghoul RE. Awesome. Is there some place that people can follow you on social media in order to find out about other con appearances and other projects as they come up? Sure. Uh, on Twitter and on Instagram, I'm Mike McFarland VA, so you can find me that way. And I think on Facebook, it's something really generic like Mike McFarland fans or fans of Mike McFarland, something like that is the page extension. But just search for my name, you'll be able to find me. All right, and we'll put links down for you. Yeah. All right, we have three wacky questions. Are you ready? I will take the wacky. All right, first wacky question. What is your go-to karaoke song? My go-to karaoke song is Daydream Believer by the Monkees. Do you want to give us a few uh, verses? Oh, I could hide neath the wing And watch the bluebirds as they sing the six o'clock alarm would never ring. Well, that's very cool. It was actually a very good uh, monkey's impression. Thank you. 
Okay, next question. If you did not get into voice acting, acting and performing and directing, what path do you think, what career path do you think your life would be on now? I'm not sure. When I was in elementary school, um, I was a big fan of all of the sci-fi that was coming out at the time, Star Wars stuff, Star Trek stuff, whatever else. And I saw a behind the scenes thing of uh, all the special effects that went into it with the model kits and the explosions. And I really wanted to do that. So elementary school me would say special effects artist. That would be a cool career path as well. Yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, and final question. If you could develop a skill that would normally take you years to master, but you could just have it instantly, what skill would you like? The desire to, <laughs> I would, I would, it's, it's a skill because you'd want to, uh, the desire to work out and train rather than it being a burden. All right, so you want to be a fitness nut, but you're not. Not necessarily a fitness nut. I just would like to be as fit as I can be uh, and be motivated to do that and have the health uh, pluses and positives that come from that without having to work so hard and have it be such a dreary process for me personally. I'm right there with you. Yes. <laughs> Anything you want to say to your fans before we wrap up? I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, keep watching. I will do my best on everything that I do. Very good. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much, Mike. And uh, as always, have fun and follow your fandom. Hi, this is Gary Chalk of Optimus Prime. Please stay tuned to Fandom Spotlight. You can watch it online at any time.